Hey yarn friends, it's me Kayla. Thanks for checking back with me to hear the rest of our story. So, um, we had really, really bad weather to come through and I was so worried about the rain and how much water we were going to get. And at the time, I wasn't worried about water being in my house. You know, we couldn't make it back and forth in and out because the water was too deep on the roads to travel. But um, I didn't feel like the water was deep enough to get in my house because I was checking online for the bayou's um, level and it was at 63 feet. And so I think it needs to get up to like 65 feet in order for it to get in my house. So we were like two feet safe there, I felt like. Anyway, but then we had the, this really, really bad storm to come through. It was so horrible. It was just thundering and pouring rain and... I was awake the whole night because I couldn't sleep, but Jody slept right through it, <laughs> and Elijah was awake too, and Dakota, I think, slept through it or kept waking up and going back to sleep, and then the next morning, Miss Curry said that they slept right through it too. I don't know how anyone slept through it because it was a really, really bad storm. Matter of fact, the horrible part of that is the town west of us, like 30 minutes away from my home was just destroyed with tornadoes and so it was so sad there was two lives that i'm sure of were lost um i don't i think that's all that was just two was lost but that's just devastating you know that it was a mother and a son the tree fell on their house and they were killed so that's just so sad and just you know keep their friends and families in your prayers i did not know them but it breaks my heart to hear of this but um, it tore up just everything in the town, like uh, everything along the interstate, all the stores, the restaurants, the college, just everything was just like ripped to shreds. And it's just horrible. I think that uh, six or seven tornadoes touched down and I don't really know um, tornado techie information, but it was an EF7 maybe. It was some letters and a seven. I don't, I'm not sure what that really means, but it was some that were like just um, twos or threes, or maybe a five, and then they said one was a seven. So I think that means something <laughs> because they pointed that out. But anyway, it was just really devastating, and my heart goes out to the whole town and community over there. But, um, but then since we got all that rain surprisingly our water levels started dropping and i was just like what I, that didn't make any sense to me <laughs> but i was thankful but i heard that down south of us they opened some floodgates and so the water because they knew all that other water was coming you know just gonna flood us out everybody out <laughs> and so they opened floodgates and water just started dropping so fast it was unbelievably how fast water dropped. And so, excuse me, excuse me. And so we got um, word that the water had dropped and um, it was significantly lower on the roads. So Dakota drove out here just to make sure that we could get to the house and everything. And um, reported back, you know, that we could drive home. And so that was just a blessing. Um, and so then we drove out here and we started moving our stuff instantly, you know, because we wanted to go home. Even though we were comfortable where we were, you know, it's just not home. <laughs> so we drove out here and there was still water everywhere. Like there were so many yards it just flooded, but you could travel on the roads. And our road just had a tiny bit of water at the beginning of it or in the middle, about midway. But then at my driveway, the road was still closed and it was still flooded past my driveway. So, um, you know, there was still lots and tons of water. But over the, over, you know, the next couple of days, it has went down a lot. So we started moving stuff, taking loads, bringing them home. On about our second load, bringing things home, it was about, um, it was about nine o'clock at night. And, or maybe even closer to 10 by the time they got, it was about 9, I guess. Um, yeah, it was 9. Sorry. 
But um, Jody, me and Elijah were in my car, and Jody was in his truck, and he went off um, before us because we stopped and was talking to Miss Curry and telling her, you know, that we were taking our things home and everything and, you know, how much we appreciated them and how thankful we were for them and everything. And Jody had went on ahead of us, and um, he called back and said that his wheel broke on his truck once he got on the highway. And, I mean, my heart just sank because it was like, you know, we're finally getting to go home. We're excited. We're going to go home. Our home didn't flood. Um, to now our truck is broke. The ball bearings, ball bearings, ball joints, ball joints, and axle broke on the driver's side front wheel. And it just folded up under the truck. And amazingly, that truck just skid a long way. You can see on the road how it scraped the road for a long ways. And then the truck just ended up parked perfectly on the side of the road. I'm so thankful that Jody, you know, did not end up in the ditch that was full of water or hit a big tree that was there at the side of the ditch. And just, it's amazing that he just ended up parked perfectly. I was like, how did you do that? He said, like, I don't know. But, um, so there our truck was full of furniture and stuff that we were bringing back home and the wheel was folded up under it. So Jody called a tow truck and I ran on to get Dakota from work and then came back and Miss Curry had called and said to come get their Suburban and do whatever we needed to do. So I told her, you know, we called a tow truck, was going to have it towed home, but it was going to have it towed somewhere else again. So it really didn't make sense. And by this time it was like 10 p.m. And so she said, uh, she talked with her husband and they said, just have the truck towed here and then um, we'll get somebody to look at it from here. And so um, they had said that their neighbor across the road had a car dolly. We could put it on to take it wherever else it needed to go, you know, later. So that's what we did. We had a tow truck to come and take it to Miss Curry's. And then we, um, you know, came on home. We didn't get home until like 2 a.m. And, um, you know, we were pretty bummed out because we need our truck. <laughs> we have too many people needing to be in too many different places for one vehicle. You know, that's just not going to work. Oh, but Miss Curry and them, I mean, they are just, like, fantastic. I just can't thank them enough. I owe them so much. They said, take the Suburban. Use it. We don't need it. Mr. Curry just recently had hip surgery, and um, they do have another Suburban or a Yukon, and then she has a car, and then her brother that lives with them has a car, too. So she said, um, just take it and use it. And so we were just, like blown away, but yet so grateful, you know, um, so we just tried to get through the weekend, so, um, Jody and Dakota worked, and me and Elijah started trying to put our house back together, because before we had left, we stacked furniture, just piled, like in my yarn room here, I piled a bunch of my yarn and boxes and stuff up on top of the piano, so if it did flood, um, you know, I wouldn't lose everything I had. So we've got to um, go through each room and clean it up and put it back together. And I really physically can't do that. So I have to depend on the boys to do that. Um, so Elijah and I started that over the weekend. And then um, today is Monday as I'm filming this. And Elijah ended up, he worked for Miss Curry today. And Dakota was here and we did a little bit around today. But um, it's going to take us a little while just to get each room put back together like it was and cleaned up and everything back where it belongs. Um, wish I was Cinderella and had some little mice and birds that just come through and do it because, um, honestly, clutter and everything out of place just stresses me. <laughs> I've never been able to deal with that. I don't like clutter or, um, you know, messes. So, we got to get on that so I can 
relax and feel peaceful. <laughs> but um, the water has gone down significantly more today. Um, I There might be some water still past my driveway, but it wasn't like right at my driveway and I didn't go down. The road still closed. It had a road closed sign. Up, so I didn't go down anywhere to see, but um, the water is like out of the yard, just drained off. And so um, we were able to get our birds back home because we have um, 18 ducks. We had four turkeys, but we lost one during this witch's swap we round thingy. Um, and then we have uh, a bunch of chickens. I don't know how many and two geese. So we got all our birds back home and um, you know, just trying to get our life put back together and carry on. But with the truck, someone, um, oh, the guy that was across the road from Miss Curry said he thinks he'd be able to fix it. And so we're, um, you know, waiting for him to give us an estimate. And um, I think he has another job he has to get to before he can actually start to work on our truck, which gives us a little time to, like, scrape some money together. <laughs> and so um, he'll give us an estimate and then get that fixed and hopefully get back on the road soon with another vehicle. Today, um, like I said, Elijah worked for Miss Curry today, and they did need use of the Suburban, and so um, Dakota drove the Suburban, and I drove my car and took Elijah over there and dropped him in the Suburban off, and then we came home, and um, Elijah did goat stuff for Miss Curry, and then they, this afternoon, they ended up taking a goat to another town to be bred, and so on the way back, they swung by, swung by here and dropped Elijah off. And then Dakota went with them to take them back home to bring the Suburban back here. And just, we're so thankful for them. Like, that is just above and beyond and just unbelievable. Unbelievable. We're just so thankful for them. So, um, yeah, so we're home. and We're happy to be home. We haven't got all our furniture home yet because... Um, a couch and the recliner would not fit into the Suburban, so um, hopefully we'll get the truck fixed soon and we can get our couch and recliner. <laughs> but we're glad to be here anyway. So I wanted to update everyone. There was a bug. I wanted to update everyone, you know, that we are home um, and our home is safe. Ants, oh my gosh, I guess the water just pushed the ants in. Ants were everywhere when we came home. We've been trying to, you know, get rid of the ants. And uh, today was a lot better with the ant situation. I might have only saw just a few today. So, um, who knew? <laughs> the ants were going to invade us. I guess the water just, you know, trying to get away from the water. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to give everybody an update. And I just want to thank everyone so much for your sweet comments and your concern for us. It's just, that means a lot. It touches my heart so much. Um, a lot of people, have, you know, asked if we needed anything. We don't. We, um, you know, just needed to be back home. <laughs> and um, we're, we're doing good, you know, as long as we can get this house put back together, which looks like it's going to take a while because everybody's not home at the same time to work on it and get it done and so um my main rooms that i wanted done you know immediately was the bathroom and the kitchen and we got those done then dakota got the laundry room cleaned up and all the laundry washed up but now somebody's got to fold all that laundry and put it away and and we still got the living room and dining room is out of sorts and the den and our bedrooms are all out of sorts because we were just like stacking stuff as high as we could get it in order to you know in case it flooded to save it so i'm just rambling but i did want to thank you all for watching and i have videos coming up it's this movie the first and so we'll have the uh, sign up for the happy mail swap and um also the new bingo card will be out for may and so um, those videos will be coming up pretty shortly. So keep an eye out for those. And I hope you join in on the fun. And um, thank you all for stopping by for a quick visit. I also have a, um, while I was at the Curry's, I did lots of knitting.
there's just lots of knitting. And so I have um, an episode coming up with lots of new projects that I made. So I will see you very soon. And thank you so much for stopping by.